Hello everybody and welcome back to our Demaria playthrough in the E4 Ambinar mod. Last episode, the, the Crimson Rain has finally ended and I feel like something bad is going to happen soon. So many people are converting over, I might as well start training up these troops. Actually, how many people can sit in Anben? Two stacks, let's do that. Let's start training up. Our wife is really good at military, so she gave us some military points, and we are blessed. Hopefully, that stays with us in these trying times. I am still a little scared. I don't remember when the E4, um, the base game Religious really Wars start. Yes, I would take that. You can deal with that, Laurent. I don't care. You will give this back. Nice. But yeah, we're only gaining 0.02 Imperial Authority. And there is one province outside the Empire. Eh. It's not really affecting us too much. Oh, I was actually um, trying to see if they can join. Not sure, though. You, you're always the troublemaker, aren't you? Galeen, what'd you take this time? <laughs> you know what? You can keep it. You made Wexel one province minor. I find that hilarious. Oh yeah, actually, now I remember why I had troops over here in Silvalar. Because it has 75% unrest. 75 unrest. Which means it's probably going to rise up like right now. I'm surprised it hasn't. Awesome. More provinces are converting to Coronite. I think almost our entire nation, well, most of this over here is, even our subjects are. Verna did change back, like I said last time. But, um, Exodus hasn't given up yet. Good on them. I'm proud. Anyways, let's just shift around our... Oh, wow. So Laurent just annexed, what is it, Sornkost? Sornkost, did they get their um, colonies? Yes. Oh, okay. Sornkosti. Good for us. Whew, that kind of scared me for a second. Roger II of Demaria is the new emperor. The emperor's dead, long live the new one. New Emperor. So, we have a good consort region, and we have Rogier, which is also amazing. Yeah, I'll get Discipline. Yes, that's fine. We do need the race stability, because I do not want internal conflicts. Yeah. Do not want that at all. And thinking after we're done colonizing this one province, we should take over the the leftover um Elinar provinces. I mean hell, we couldn't even really finish this off. One, two, third, four. Yeah, we can't even make a colonial nation over there. So we might as well just take this. Hello everybody. <laughs> might just provoke this. Yeah. Get it over with. Actually, a lot of people are, um... Give back Reckon's Court. Arboron will give something back. Give back Tegan. So now we're making zero. Awesome. can take you on. Actually, yeah, I can't add you to the Empire. Makes me wonder why. Not sure. We'll just leave you for now. Oh, we can actually um, add you now. You are Elvish, so it won't hurt AE-wise that much, but you are the same... 
Well, now that like half the empire is Coronite, it won't matter. So you know what? Yeah, let's go for you. Expand. 100% costs. I'm assuming it should... Yeah, let's test that out. If not, then oh well, that's a lesson learned. More money. More money equals more problems. And maybe even more money as well. In those manufacturers. Alright, can we add you to the Empire? Yes, we can. Oof. It's still gonna hurt. 87 AE. But you did stay Regent Court, so why not? And honestly, border-wise, that looks really nice. Finally filling in that little gap here. Maybe I can get Bustelar someday. Still hoping. But if the whole Empire is about to go into bloody warfare anyway, then why does it matter if I get in a coalition? The big brain tactics. No. We're actually getting 12 now because there is peace. That's fine. I mean, if I can gain AE, I'll take it. Get a small tolerance increase. Let's marry you so you like us more. So, voting wise, we do have four votes still. That will go down once we annex Neckcliffe over here. I feel like Silver Forge is probably gonna ditch us soon. Can guarantee him. Let's guarantee all these guys. Yeah, let's just do that. It's pretty much a one war already. But I can't wait to see if Rogier is actually gonna be a mage or not. Because being a 636, he might be our main leader for this upcoming war. Which I think starts in 1550. Goad is having internal conflicts. Tell me about it. Eh, it's not that bad. And I'm surprised blue scales still exist. Makes me kind of happy. Let's get you... The nail turned into fur, which is funny. We're hunting the elves that are left over over here. They don't have fur. Alright, move back. Let's get you training again. Get you moved this way. You do have an army down here. Not that it matters. I won't wipe it out because I do want you to survive as soon as you join the Empire. I don't want you to get sucked up immediately. Yeah, he's just moving around. Show along. Just gotta take that last province, man. Come on. Ooh. I'll take that. Pure cost. That's fine. Wherever that is. Do have 32% with that. Actually, Laurent, did you take your... Yes. They did the arsenal. They did the summer palace as well. Now a new iron mine. Need 10 there. Okay. I'm gonna help him out with that. Huzzah! Alright, how about are you gonna be? I can wait on this for a couple years. Why not? We actually are losing Diplo power. Might have to go to that real quick. finish off our first economic idea. Actually, I lied. We're behind on admin tech. I forgot. Rogier is now the emperor. Awesome. And yes, he's powerful mage. Awesome. Let's see what we got here. Let's take Minara again. Or maybe... Hmm, what do I care more about? It's going to finish in a year anyway. Might as well just take this. Let's let it tick over. Not sure if that takes effect immediately. 
That will hurt. 82. Yeah, screw it. That's fine. Awesome! It's starting to look better now. Minus this over here, but once Lorenz integrated, it's going to look nice. Let's get training. Can finish off this stack over here. And we are still making money somehow. <laughs> Definitely because of this trade node. But we have an amazing ruler at the moment. Actually, that just helped out. Support for ruler. Yeah. So since he is Coronite, thankfully it didn't change over the state religion, but it does help out with all of our Coronite provinces. Yep, they're done with that. We're going to lose money with that. And actually, we can turn off support loyalists. Hmm... We might as well turn on Diverting Trade for these guys. What about Necklyph? Yeah, he's also part of that. Oh yeah, they can't do that. Awesome. <laughs> so we are buddies with our Salmuna Buds over here. Don't think they're over the limit. Actually, oh yeah, we just got a ton of Imperial Authority for doing that too really good. Hopefully we can somehow eke out that 50 and get this. Plus Laurent is being an ass already. Whatever, you know, we'll just keep that on for a little bit. Let's build another cannon. Are we over our limit? we will be hitting our limit. So we're going to have basically four stacks of 34, 24, 8, and 2. Which goes into 12, 12, 4, 1. We will switch that all around once we... Oh, wow. <laughs> we, have a, we have a Vanale company just taking over the remains of their stuff. Awesome. We will own everything over here. Our Dame's Tier Ruler modifier just went away, and the House of Sil Ordoin. An heir, 255. Edmund is back. Back in charge, 255. Really good. Let's see how we are with magic. Let's see. Wow! Legendary, 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 legendary. Wow, that's insane. Enhance ability, we can't do that. Rite of conception, no, it's fine. Homunculus. Hmm. I mean, it would be funny if we just <laughs> we did a little necromancy. Raise an undead army. <laughs> right before the religious war, or maybe during it. Or pursue lichdom while it's happening. Can absorb life energy. Hmm. It's all interesting stuff. Abjuration, magical fields, conjuration, magical fortress. Magnificent feast. That is 66%, but I'll take it. It's only for a year, which is terrible. Yeah, let's start pumping out leaders, because we are, like, way ahead. I think that's good for now. You're trash, you're trash, you're trash. Alright, we'll keep that. Get uh, Mariana Fisher over here. Get Castina Campman. Yeah, you're fine for now. Let's get training. It's about to be ticking over into 1550 soon. see if it will happen soon. Well, other than that, growth of the printing industry, we already start off with 25 support in Anben, our capital, where it really matters, and Netcliff is now gone. Okay. 
There's another big stack. Hmm. Let's get the navy together. Navy isn't really a priority for me at the moment. Yeah, we're still not getting anything here. How are relations looking with our vassals? We should get Verna up. Along with Woodwell. International book market just went up as well. Yeah, we are losing money. I will get rid of the stack. I know it's a waste, but we are rolling in manpower since we are the emperor. Nekalif actually is a beautiful state with 78 development. Funny enough, yeah, it is partly Coronite. You can get another ability here. Honestly, let's just do this one. <laughs> Can't really do much. Here we go, the Coronite Accord. After Emperor Roger II rejected the Coronite confessional positions of the Imperial Parliament, Coronite Imperial States formed the Coronite Accord with a joint army and treasury in seeking ties abroad. The region court states, feeling threatened by this new alliance, have regrouped into a Danic League. The state is set for religious conflict in the Empire. They will regret their audacity. Let's see what's going to happen. So obviously I am the leader on this side. I cannot join the other, who would have thought. Let's get you linked up with the other friends in Anben. Because I still only own 43%, which is a lot, but would like more. And get this. Yep. Yeah. This as well is afraid of happening. I'm assuming most of our electors are going to leave us. Yeah. Alliance breaking with Dame's Crown. Yep, there it goes. So it's time to see where our friendships lie. Bpec. Who would have thought? Bpec and Pearl's Edge. Moonhaven's gonna leave us. Here, Bpec. I'll be friendly with you, because you'll be friendly with me. Halfling minority grows. That is fine, I think. We do have a mission fulfilled. The Crown of Rubinar. Eh, I don't think it really matters that much. Durane and Rubinar. Nah, we won't take it. Not right now. You will not... Wex, Wex is completely dead now. Hopefully, once this is gone, we can... Actually, can I start the war? I don't remember. Yeah, Dame's Crown is literally the leader. Hold on. And I guarantee them. Damn it. That's what I get. We're just getting ready. I do want to build up a better navy. Might as well. 22 light, 35 galley. Let's just go for more galleys. It is an inland sea. Basically, it met a, well, not Mediterranean. Yeah, let's just do something like that. I do want to build some new forts, but we don't have any. One right here again would be good. I know I deleted that earlier on in the campaign, but it's time to get it back. Surprise Aranen isn't against us. I wish there's a way to tell how much power there is. So you yourself have 313. Okay. Can't really see anything. Alright, this is getting kind of annoying there. And we can enact a government reform, and I feel like I need to go with a parliament. Due to this mission here, the at least 15 seats in dot period. So I will go with that. It is kind of streamlined into that. So, yeah. So we're going to have to do that. So... 
course, Anne Ben is going to have it. Our two uh, ears here. Actually, I feel like all the dames here should have it. The dames ear. Silvalar should, because it is a major city. Hmm. What else makes sense? Ellen's Bridge looks nice. Westham, our old capital. And I know I'm going way over the limit, but I need at least 15. And we have 10. Neckliff, good old friend. Thor <laughs> Thornport. It says throat port. Makes it a little bit weirder. Actually, all of Neckliff should have it. It's a pretty good state. And what else? Moon Isle. Nice. Empowered Parliament. Dating back to the days of the ancient Demarian Republic, Demaria and all of its inheritors have always maintained a strong congress that represents the will of the people. And here we go. Now we're moved down to the League War. Awesome. Let's get something good here. Which would be uh, none of these. Actually, you know what? Let's get religious minorities. Click E for buttons. Uh, local autonomy is fine. Bribes are okay. Don't quote me on that. Great title. There we go. That should help with our religious situation. We are at 76% now. Hmm. You would not accept that. That's fine. We're over our limit now. Guess we'll stop guaranteeing Moonhaven. So with the Religious War CB, I don't remember if I can do it or not. No, they have to either attack me or they have to wait 25 years. And I think that results in uh, just a white piece so anybody can do it, which I don't want. I want to be fully victorious. Alright, really? We'll have a grand ball. It'll be grand, alright? Let's get our ships over here. You are our trade ships. I'm not gonna select you. You all move to Anben. And we are on the eve of warfare. Excuse me, sir. Get with the program. And I think that's a good point to end this episode. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.